Hi, hey, guys and girls. Welcome back to the Den of Tools. Of course, today we've got what you need to be looking at at Home Depot for the Father's Day mid-June sale going on, starting right now, running through this weekend. Uh, we've got, we did the uh, Harbor Freight one yesterday. If you haven't seen it, we got Lowe's coming out tomorrow. Be sure to check that one out. But we're going to jump through the ad here. We're going to look at all the stuff that's on sale real quick. And then we're going to do a store walkthrough and see everything that they kind of missed in the ad. So let's take a look at it. Of course, they're saying dad knows best, the best gift. <laughs> what is that? Dad knows the best gift is doing. Oh my gosh, the marketing people over there. Anyway, of course, the first thing I start off with, you know, we're coming up. We got uh, July 4th just around the corner. It's time to get your grill on. And they've got a couple of the Traeger ones going on here. We got was the Pro 575. Now, most of these, uh, most of these grills, when they talk about a number on it, that's the square inches on that grill. And yes, they do include the top shelf as well in that. So at 575, this is not a big grill. This is not a big grill at all. Uh, then underneath that, that one's for $700. Now Traeger makes some solid grills. Don't get me wrong. And but you, you may know if you've been around, I'm a big fan of the uh, <clears throat> the Pit Boss grills. Let me just show you real quick because Lowe's has got this. You're going to see it tomorrow. I'll give you a little sneak peek here. They've got the 850 square inch with the hammer tone paint and everything else, and it's got the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for $500. Hmm. Just before you buy that Traeger, just consider buying. And if you don't know, the guys who started Traeger sold Traeger off, made a bunch of millions, then went and started up with Pit Boss, and now are running the Pit Boss team over there. So they, I think they know what they're doing. Anyway, they get the smaller Traeger for five hundred, the uh, the bigger Traeger for seven hundred. We got the pellets. Traeger does have some great pellets, by the way. I would get the Traeger pellets over the Pit Boss pellets. Don't love them. Here you me say that anyway let's keep going what else we got here we got the next grill charcoal smoker there for 200 bucks if you just want to play around to get started and see what you can do with offset smoking that's not a bad little box to get started with uh the next grill this is an excellent just backyard burgers and dogs kind of grill you can do chicken just all your basic kind of stuff propane grill you got four burners internally you got one burner on the outside that's a good starter one. There isn't there's a five burner one at Lowe's for 50 bucks more might want to consider that but for uh, four four zones there. That's pretty decent, honestly. Next to that, we got a pizza oven. Love to see a pizza oven on sale here. $300. This is the Aura 12. Now, I looked, I looked at this. I looked through the details. They don't talk about it anywhere on it. This is a propane oven. Gets hot in 20 minutes, which is not bad. And it's got a rotating stone in it, so you're not having to constantly stick your pizza paddle in there and move it around. Now, it's manual. There's a little dial on the side. I think you just turn it. So, But way better because these things cook within like a minute to three minutes, depending on the heat, what you got on it. They cook fast and the heat is always at the back. So you constantly have to turn it. So having that, that turning stone in there is, it's a game changer. On top of that, it's got a little chamber on the top. You can drop in some wood. Uh, you, I don't know if you can put pellets in, but you can put wood chips and stuff, give it an additional smoky kind of flavor, kind of mimic that real wood fired kind of pizza thing. Now, next to this, or under this, we've got the Loco $500 Smart Temp Griddle. Yeah, I think you're local if you're buying for $500 a, a two-burner a two burner griddle. I've talked about before. I know you think I'm harping on it, but over at Walmart, they've got the, third, the standard, the quintessential 36-inch griddle from Blackstone. They're the guys who started all this. 36 inches with a with a metal cover for 297. Yeah, we with the the deal over at Amazon is gone. That deal's over. But this one is pretty much just as good, if not better, if you're looking for that hard cover on it. Anyway, check that one out. All right, let's go back over here. We've got the Weber grill, three burner grill for six hundred dollars. And we've got the master built 767. I talked to some people who who've used these. This is basically the charcoal guy's version of a pellet grill. You can load, I think, regular charcoal, or lump charcoal in the side, depending on the size of it. And it just works its way down into the, the heat box. Uh, so it kind of gives you that kind of a precision dial control of, of heat like you get with the pellet grills in a charcoal smoker for those who prefer the tar charcoal taste. Uh, we've talked about the deals here. Uh, the Boy, the bags get smaller. The prices stay the same. Uh, let's see what else we got. Right now, don't forget, Ryobi Days is still going on. There's still lots of great deals, tons of bogos. Here's an example of some of them. Buy one, get get one free. Buy this kit, get one free. So you're getting the two four amp hour batteries, solid batteries. You're getting the charger. Not a fan of the charger, but it works. And then you get look at it, you got your your multi tool, which is decent. You got your hedge trimmer, which looks like a lightsaber. You got your angle grinder, which is okay. But the the real buy out of this group 
is that uh, that brushless uh, impact driver right there. That that thing is fantastic. I would definitely get that one if I was going with that group. Now the next one is for two hundred bucks. You're getting three batteries here. Uh, you're getting the, the same kind of charger and you're getting one of these tools. Now here, you got the brushless circs on, it's a solid tool. The brushless recip, that's a solid tool. The the blower, it's a good blower. I don't know if I'd waste the money on the blower. Brad Naylor's fantastic. I would probably get the circ saw though, or the recip. Um, all right, we come down here. Now we're in the 40 volt. This is great because I remember I told you they're not doing a lot of the 40 volt when they, when they first launched for every days. Now we're seeing the 40 volt deals roll in. The wet dry vac, I, I would hold off on the wet dry vac. Wait for tomorrow's deals at, at Lowe's. I think you're going to see some better deals on wet dry vacs. Uh, the 40 amp hour battery, that's decent. We got the blower over there. This is the the with the four, this is the full kit there. That's a solid blower. 85% quieter than gas models. Way quieter. Your neighbors will love you. We got the easy clean washing kit there. 40 with the, the enclosed. It gets the battery enclosed there so it doesn't get wet. We got the trimmer. That's a beast of a trimmer there for 269. Now the mower, mower's on a, this is a solid mower. Okay. Ryobi makes a great, it's TTI that makes the mower. 449. That's a great deal. You're getting a 20 inch mower self-propelled with a six amp hour battery and charger. Remember those specs. Or we could go over to Walmart and get its cousin, essentially the same mower. All right. Both made by TTI, 20 inch self-propelled six amp with charger full kit for 384. 384. I trust me, I've had a couple of these these mowers now. Now, granted, Hart did send them to me, just full disclosure there. But it's the same parent company as TTI. If, if I'm looking between the two, I, I would get the Hart. Save save the money on it. They're both great mowers, but they're pretty much not much of a difference there. All right, let's talk about some Milwaukee here. Buy one, get one here. You get the the, the combo kit here. You're getting two of the six amp hour batteries. They're an absolute beast with the charger. Milwaukee makes some solid chargers. I love that they're all most of them, I should say, are dual chargers. We can do the M18 and the M12. And then over here we got the uh, M18 uh, Hackzall, the fuel version. That's a definitely choice, a uh, good choice there. The fuel version of the Compact Brushless 3 8 Impact. That's a great choice. The Inflator, eh, okay. And the Rocket Light. I definitely there's tons of deals on the Rocket Lights. I might hold off on the Rocket Light. The Inflator, if that's something you really need, I think definitely the Impact or the Hackzall there are the real the real deals there. Of course, they're doing buy more, save more. The more you spend, the more you save. And look, we got pack out deals on top of that. 50 bucks value. Get this pack out organizer for a buck uh, with qualifying purchases on other storage stuff. Look, we got the crate there for $50. We got the, the three door system there for 164 The cooler for $250. And the, uh, maybe it's made by Yeti. I don't know. Anyway, I'm teasing. Uh, and then we got the basic rolling box for $139. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money, you can go with the uh, the three piece there with the Husky. This is the Connect system there, uh, or you can get the uh, what do we got here? We got the rolling bag there for uh, eighty nine. I got to tell you, I really like the Husky bags. When you can get a deal on the Husky bags, I think they're a fantastic deal. And uh, the uh, what do we got here? We got the the was it the mechanics kit? That's a mechanics kit we've seen on sale quite often. That that goes on sale all the time. I would be looking at the rolling bag or the uh, the Connect Pro kit there as well. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Rigid Wet Dry Vac. Again, uh, Rigid used to be the go-to, the no brains. It was the top dog on the job site. I think they've kind of uh, let it slide a bit and uh, other people have picked up the, the, you know, I think the Craftsman's as good or better. The Bauer is better. The Dwalt is better than all of them. Uh, Sorry, that's just the way it works out. Uh, battery there, two pack batteries for hundred bucks. Okay, deal. That that's kind of like a standard deal. Most other places have. That's not a really hot deal. Now down below that, looks at like these next two deals. This one kind of makes this is a head scratcher here. For one hundred and forty nine dollars, you can get the the drill driver and the impact with two batteries and a charger and a bag. Standard brushed basic tools or or just a little bit the same price, you can get the compact brushless with the batteries and the charger and the bag. Same price. How is that a choice? Um, I, I, in no way, shape, or form should you consider getting the brushed rigid stuff. I'm sorry. Makita. Okay, this isn't just Makita, guys. And I know everyone looks at the price and thinks, ooh, Makita. This isn't just Makita. This is Makita 40 volt. All right. So we're jumping up here. 
We got the blower, fantastic blower trimmer, absolute monster of a trimmer. And look at this, the XGT 40 volt. This is the combo kit with the drill driver. I'm sorry, hammer drill and the impact driver with the two batteries, with the charger, with the bag. I know it's a, a lot of money, but for the guys looking at this kind of stuff, that's a great deal. And then black and yellow. We got some DeWalt stuff here. Uh, we got the Atomic 20 volt. I know last time we covered this, I, I, I get the extreme and the Atomic mixed up sometimes for some reason. Just go too fast in my head. The extreme is a 12 volt. Atomic is like that rigid compact. It is, it's a, it's a full power, but in a compact size. So think of a 20 volt XR and a, and a 12 volt head of baby. That's what the Atomic is. So it's running off the 20 volt batteries. That's a great kit right there. Of course, I'm a huge fan of the multi-tool there. The pruners there that would terrify my wife. She hates those things. We got the Atomic brushless combo kit for 120 or 169. The crossline laser, there's there's a better crossline laser over, I think the Bosch is, it's like a hundred bucks over at Lowe's. Wait for tomorrow's video. And then we got the trimmer there from 169. Boy, there, there's a cobalt deal coming up. Let me tell you about that. Six flex, six amp, uh, six amp hour flex volt there for 250. Uh, and then we got this combo. This is talking about an absolute beast of a combo kit. Look at this. We got the uh, 20 volt max brushless two tool, four amp hour kit. You're getting the string trimmer, the blower, the battery and the charger. They're, they're, they're solid. I'll be honest. Most of the uh, DeWalt outdoor power equipment is pretty good. The mowers I take issue with, but the rest of the stuff is pretty solid. We got the next to that, we got the framing nailer, 21 degree framing nailer kit there, full battery and charger there for 439. Let's talk, we're talking about outdoor power. Look at this. We got the Murray. I'm not really familiar with the Murray line. If you guys know more about it than I do, let me know what you think of it down below. Uh, it's Murray riding mower running the Briggs and Stratton there, 19 horsepower engine. I believe the 19 horsepower Briggs and Stratton is a solid engine. I'm not like, it's not like the most amazing thing in the world, but it's solid. Then for only more than twice of that price, you can get the electric Ryobi. I love me some electric. I'm a huge proponent of electric, but five grand for a tractor. Hmm. 80 volt horsepower brushless riding riding mower with a 10 amp hour battery kit delivers the power equivalent to a 21 horsepower. I'm sure it does, but five grand. I mean, it's going to be quieter. It's going to be easy to use. It's five grand. I can do a lot with five grand. I could per se buy a cub cadet with a Kawasaki engine and pocket $1,400 to spend on, I don't know, taking the misses to, to Vegas for the weekend. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't go to Vegas. I spend way too much time in Vegas as it is. Uh, anyway, uh, zero turn for 36 or an electric. I mean, I love electric. I'm one of the biggest proponents of outdoor electric outdoor power equipment, but I'll be the first to tell you the riding mowers, the, the value isn't there yet. All right. Uh, tough shed there, 10% off. That's not a bad deal. We got some, uh, we got some electric pressure or not like gas pressure washers. My bad. So we've got, uh, actually I take it back, I got one of each. Electric pressure washer, that's the Ryobi. And then that's that's a decent pressure washer. That DeWalt there, Honda 699. Remember, Honda's pulling out of the small engine market here, guys. Uh, so that, that may not be available in years to come. If you want to get a good solid pressure washer that's going to be around for years and years, that's the way to go. That Gorilla uh, ladder, that's a decent price. The Werner ladder, a decent price. They're not an amazing price, but they're, they're not bad. We got some paint. Of course, it's Bear, Bear Premium. You know, we, we got to go with Bear. It's just the way it is. Uh, plants. I don't often skip over the plants. One thing I do want to call out is the marigolds right here, okay? Marigolds, if you're doing a garden this year, plant marigolds around the outside, and it will help keep some of the critters away. Uh, rabbits, uh, squirrels, deer, for the most part. It, it's not perfect, but it does. they're really pungent, and they don't really like the smell, so it kind of keeps them away. Uh, I think a 30 out six will probably do better, but what do I know? Uh, we got mulch, mulch. There's always a good sale on mulch. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, I like that ceiling fan. 209 with the built-in light. That's kind of cool. The EcoSmart light, uh, ring doorbell. Jeez. Did you hear about the Amazon just shutting some guy's house down because they felt he his ring doorbell had said something obnoxious to somebody? That was a great, you got to go check out one of those videos. But here we got to check this out. HDX tubs, 27 gallon. That's your standard tub, black or, or sorry, red or or yellow with a black base. 
coming in at $11. That's a solid price on those tubs. Husky rack there, four tier heavy duty rack, 250. That's kind of a standard sale price. All right, that's what we got from the flyer. Let's jump through the store and see what else we got. Okay, you walk into the store and of course you're gonna see Ryobi everywhere as Ryobi deals are still going on. We got the Made in the USA mowers there, their, their new uh, Super Whisper uh, version that's quieter and as powerful as 170 cc. We got the air compressor combo deals here from Rigid. That's a solid air compressor there with, with decent guns there. And of course, let me just look at all these. They got rows and rows of Ryobi. But they got other great deals. I said they, there's some rigid stuff in here. There's some uh, some Milwaukee stuff and some other stuff we're going to look at here. Uh, some great deals. Look at that. We got the pruning uh, chainsaw there for 99 bucks. Uh, we got I talked about the washer there, the good solid blower there. Now we come around here. They've got a uh, step into some of the 40 volt stuff, and that's what really gets exciting here is when you get the 40 volt stuff. This stuff right here, this is the lowest of the low tier here on Ryobi. Okay, I would probably pat unless you're on a tight budget and you're already in the Ryobi line, I would probably pass on that and wait for the 40 volt stuff because the 40 volt stuff is where you really step up in power, okay? If you've got a really small yard, you're only blowing like uh, grass clippings and stuff like that, you'll be fine. But for for serious power like that, that string trimmer right there is an absolute beast. That's a great blower there for 179. They've got, Ryobi has some of the best blowers in the market. Ryobi slash hard, of course, remember there. They're, almost identical not quite identical but they're close okay uh, i do prefer the the battery line for heart uh, i don't like dealing with the rabbi batteries myself but if you're already in that line or you're look you know you maybe you just shop at home depot all the time that might be the way to go of course the m18 stuff they make some great outdoor power equipment but remember you're using your standard tool batteries now to power all that outdoor power equipment and there's I mean, batteries only have so many recharges in them they're a disposable item so you are taking away from your power tools when you're using your outdoor power equipment uh, with the same batteries. Maybe that's maybe that's okay for you. For me, I prefer to go with the 40 volt systems or the 60 volt or the 56 volt there from uh, uh, from Ego. Again, we got some more Dewalt stuff here, and then here's some more of the uh, the rigid deals. Uh, as you saw, the the Milwaukee stuff really picked over, but a lot of great accessories here in Ryobi. Look at that. We got the the surface cleaners. Those are great deals. They're 43 bucks for that basic one. The brush sets, of course. I'm a big fan of the brush sets. I talk about it a lot on the channel. I, I think that's one of the great uses uh, for some power tools. Again, your grill, your bathroom, all of those tough to clean kind of places. The new rigid seri series two modular storage system there and Husky. Take a look at a lot of the Husky stuff. Look, we got some Diablo blades here. Those are good deals, but don't skip on those Husky hand tools. You get some great deals there. And here we got some more of the, the rigid deals going on. A little bit of Makita, not as much Makita as I would like. There never is in store, but here's those Husky hand tools I was talking about before. Uh, the, the, the pliers there, that's a good deal on the pliers. That Husky tool set, I wouldn't get too excited about that. That's always the sale price. We got torque wrenches. We got ratcheting wrenches. We got hand wrenches. I know we're moving a little fast. We got a lot to cover. So pause the video if you need to. But again, with the Makita sets there, the, with the XPS bits there, that's a great deal here. That mower, they're good looking mowers. I gotta say, I think the Rabbit mowers are better looking than the Hart mowers. Uh, but... I think the heart mowers are just a better value for what you get. That Ryobi glue gun, fantastic. Even if you're not in the Ryobi line, if your line doesn't have a glue gun, I would snag that myself. Diablo Sandy, that I use this Diablo discs all the time. All the Diablo bits. I've if there's one something you think is a better deal, I know the 3M stuff is good, but you don't usually see those ridiculous sale prices like you do with the Diablo uh, on the 3M stuff. All right, I know I'm skipping some of the Milwaukee stuff here. Just good, solid Milwaukee deals. I've not seen a ton of stuff that's like, oh my gosh, I have to stop and, and grab that one. This is a great deal here. The, the the whole saw kit from Milwaukee, that's a fantastic deal. The Milwaukee gloves, ah, they're okay. The screwdrivers, they're okay. The pliers, the tape, the tape measures are good. The mugs, I'm not paying 30 bucks for a tumbler from Milwaukee, but they do have some BOGOs, some kits here. So if you're in the M18 line, keep an eye out for it. 
Contractor great hoses here for 40 bucks. Sprinklers great for the kids this summer, maybe even watering the lawn. Again, we got the grills here. Here's your solid four burner grill. I'm telling you, these, these grills are for the money for your basic bark backyard grill. They're solid. There's no reason to spend, you know, four or $500 on a grill if all you're going to do is some burgers, some dogs, maybe some chicken every so often. Of course, we got the flags because we know 4th of July is in effect here. This thing, look at that, $400. On that charcoal grill, I don't know, maybe you've got it, you could tell me more about it, but that seems a bit steep to me. They've got tons of air conditioners, though, in stock. A lot of these droid-style air conditioners, there's that Loco grill, I guess it looks cool. The Traeger's looking nice. The new version of the Traeger's are looking solid, but the money that they're asking for them, a bit pricey. And there's that Kingsford we were talking about before, the Royal Oak. Uh, what else we got? We got the Traeger pellets. Again, if you're doing a pellet grill, I like the Traeger pellets. Those crocodile cloths, I've got a stack of those. Actually been really happy with them. All right, come around the corner. We got some Toshiba. What? 450 Uh, not a chance. I know for a fact online, these are going for $140. $140 for a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. That is a fantastic price. Now, if you really want to step up your game, you know I'm a huge fan of the Medea. The U-shaped air conditioners gives you more light, puts the sound, the noise outside. It's an inverter generator. It's a or inverter. It's an inverter air AC unit. It's a smart AC unit. You control it with a remote. You control it with your phone. Huge step up, but that's also a big step up in price as well. Now for some basic airflow, we got the turbo drum fan there for a hundred bucks. We got the bigger Toshiba there for three eighty nine. I still say go with the Medea. It's going to be a better deal. You're going to save money. An inverter generator is going to save you money over these basic gener. I keep saying generator AC, and it's going to save you money over these. Now here's there's the Medea there four hundred dollars for the eight thousand. Again, it's cheaper on uh, on Amazon. I'll put a link to it down below. Uh, it's a great, great one. I guess if you want to pick it up there, but it's cheaper, save some money, get it on Amazon. Um, we got another Toshiba there. There's the, the, the bigger cross section of the fan, but we got some more Toshibas over here. $299 uh, on that unit. We got, uh, was it $459? Toshiba makes a decent AC unit, but it's, it's nothing to write home about. The name is not what it used to be. Toshiba used to be like the, the end all be all name. Uh, when it came to electronics and stuff, and I just don't see them at that level anymore. Medea is really killing it. it uh, everyone who's rated them rates them the highest, including Consumer Reports. But, you know, if you're just in need, you want to grab something right now, there are some solid deals over here that you could grab. Anyway, that's all we got for you today. Don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on your way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always... Shine on.